Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of First Thoughts. I'm Matt Sella, and I just saw Disney's Christopher Robin, and I will be doing a non-spoiler review for said movie. So what worked for me? I really appreciated the visuals of this movie. I was kind of half expecting it to be a little wish-washy, cutesy, and colorful, but there's a very controlled palette when it came to this film. It was a little gritty, it was a little dark and warm, but I think it worked in favor of the movie. It really kind of set up the overall tone of the film. And I actually thought the visual effects for Winnie the Pooh and his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. I said woods as a kid. I don't know why. Hundred Acre Wood? Hundred Acre Woods? Might just be a regional thing. Pretty much I was convinced that the animals were really there. The stuffed animals moving magically. And for the most part, there was a couple times when they moved about. It looked a little muddy, it looked a little floaty, but overall I thought they did a fantastic job in that department, so good on you guys, you're improving. Maybe it's because the characters don't move as much? They look like real stuffed animals moving about, so good job guys. Now what did didn't work for me. It's a little hard to say because I'm not going to get into spoilers. Most of it I would say is typical story beats. The film kind of goes in a direction that you expect from the premise itself. Christopher Robin, now an older guy, has to choose between his family or work. Typical premise. Uh, the way things wrap up in the end, I guess, without giving away exactly what happens, it feels a little bit too much of tying up a bow. Positive. I, I don't, it's really hard for me to say. It's just, I was kind of expecting something a little bit more deeper, a little bit more complicated that you would expect in an adult's life making such heavy decisions. It's a Disney movie. It's supposed to make you feel good. It's supposed to make you understand the message, which now I think about it, I don't know if I quite get the message. Maybe I do. I just don't know. It's first thoughts. I'm still trying to figure all this out. But overall, the story itself wasn't bad. It was pretty good, what you would expect. But I guess the real con I gotta say is that it's not a con for me because I'm an adult. I kind of want more interesting things to happen. More complexities, more conflict and intrigue. But this movie really relies on the adult characters trying to figure out things, especially Christopher Robin, now a middle-aged man. There's really not much here for kids, surprisingly enough. Yes, we got the awesome work of Jim Cummings returning as Pooh and Tigger, who I think he should be in more films. I honestly think he's been getting better over the years. And you got the rest of the cast of Pooh and his friends, but they don't really do a lot of shenanigans, for lack of a better term, to really keep kids invested in the movie. This film very much felt like it was meant for those who grew up with Winnie the Pooh, either the books, the stories, the movies, whatever. Those who mostly know Winnie the Pooh from the Kingdom Hearts games will probably get a kick out of this movie because they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that they, they put that in the game too, it's cute. But for kids, I almost kind of want to say hesitant pass for you parents. I don't think it's going to keep their attention too much because there's a lot of talking. There's a lot of adult contemplating with a cute bear. I only say this because the movie theater we saw it in, there were a few kids and a couple of them just kind of started running around and not caring. Overall, I give this a thumbs up. Pretty solid movie. I don't know if I would go see it again in theaters. I would probably recommend Morning Prices or Matinee if you are not a parent and don't have kids. Might also be a good date movie. Take a girl or a guy with you who thinks Pooh is cute and just see a movie about a man juggling between work and family. Could be interesting. Could be fun. I don't think you're going to have much to hate. That's going to do it for this review. Be sure to give this video a like and let me know what were your thoughts on the film in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Please let me know your honest opinion. This is Matt Sella signing off. Be sure to check out my other reviews here, or if you want to watch a random video, click here. And be sure to subscribe. As I like to say here on this channel, to be continued.